Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's session of From Heaven at Seven Family. Today's episode is an important episode because yesterday as Christians we celebrated Pentecost Sunday which marks the beginning of the church when the Holy Spirit came upon the believers who were gathered together in one place and in one accord and equipped them and empowered them to do the works of the ministry that the Lord Jesus had told them to do. He said to wait for the Holy Spirit before they went out and to do these things. And when they received the Holy Spirit, they went out in the power that they needed to, to do the things that he said before them. And therefore, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 8 from the Amplified Translation. And it reads as follows. But you will receive power and ability when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses to tell people about me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and even to the ends of the earth. Now, family, if we go and read the book of Acts chapter 2, we will see this instant where the Holy Spirit came upon the believers, the disciples, those who were following Christ. They were waiting patiently for the Holy Spirit to come upon them as the Lord had told them to wait. And the reason he did that is because he knew that it was physically impossible for them to do the work that he had set before them without the power of the Holy Spirit. And that is exactly what is being said in this portion of scripture from Acts chapter 1, where it says, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will receive power and ability. And that is what the Lord wants to do. That's why he sent us us, his Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost 2,000 odd years ago because he knew that we needed the Holy Spirit to do the work that he set before us. Family, each and every one of us, whether we're in full-time ministry or not, we all have a call of God on our lives, a unique call. Each, us, or each and every one of us are called to something different. However, all of our calls revolve around one thing, and that is the Great Commission, which we can read about in Matthew chapter 28 and Mark chapter 16, where Jesus basically said, go and preach the world to all creation. In other words, go and be his witnesses and go make disciples of all nations. That is an instruction that he gave not just to the disciples, but to anybody who calls himself a disciple and anybody who says he loves the Lord, basically, or is a follower of Christ. Therefore, if we're followers, followers of Christ, if we believe in Christ, then he's given us the Great Commission and the call that he has placed on our lives. In some way or another, at the end of the day, it all reverts back to that great commission. It will be some variation of it, but it all boils down to the advancing of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And as we see in this example on the day of Pentecost, it was physically impossible for the disciples to do it without the Holy Spirit. Therefore, if we want to fulfill the call of God that, that God has placed on our lives, and we want to operate in the power that he's destined us to operate in to fulfill that call, we need to receive an infilling of the Holy Spirit, as this portion of Scripture says. If, if it was meant to be done for the disciples, if they had to wait, we have to wait and receive it as well. But the beautiful thing is the Lord has already sent His Holy Spirit. He is already here. All we have to do is ask to be filled with the Holy Spirit, ask for the Holy Spirit to come upon us, to give us the power and ability, as the Scripture says. And then when we ask the Lord, He will freely give His Holy Spirit to us because He knows that that's what we need. And when He gives it to us, we will be empowered and enabled to go out and fulfill the call that God has placed on our lives. And with regards to the call as well, whatever your unique call is, if you ask the Lord, Lord, what is my call? Reveal things to me about my call. Show me the path before me. He will show, slowly start to show you bit by bit and prepare you along the way and get you onto that path and lead you in the direction that you need to go. And he, His Holy Spirit will enable you to do what He has set before you on that path, family. So I want to encourage you to ask for a fresh new infilling of the Holy Spirit and an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon you and within you if, if you don't have it, especially if you don't have it, especially if you're a new believer and you haven't asked the Holy Spirit to come into your heart yet. Ask him to come into your heart because when he, when he comes into your heart, you'll receive the power and the ability that you need. You see, family, the Holy Spirit does everything in and through us that needs to be done for us to be effective witnesses for Jesus. As it says there, and you will be my witnesses to tell people about me. So what does that mean, family? When the Holy Spirit comes upon us, he gives us the ability and the, the power and everything that we need to be Jesus's witnesses, but he also does a work within us to transform us from the inside out to be more effective witnesses. Everything that the Holy Spirit does in us and through us 
at the end of the day is to make us more effective witnesses for Jesus. If we're struggling with addictions or bad habits or, or something that we're just generally struggling with, if the Holy Spirit delivers us from that, brings us out the other side of it, what does it mean? He's done it so that we can be a more effective witness. Because if we've been struggling with addiction and the Holy Spirit sets us free from that addiction, we can testify to other people about how the Lord has set us free from that addiction. And consequently, they too can be set free by the same power of the Holy Spirit operating in their lives if they choose to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior and invite the Holy Spirit into their hearts to operate in them and through them. The, the Holy Spirit is here, family, to make us more effective witnesses. And there's many other things as well. He's here to be our comforter, our helper, and all these kinds of things. And when He comforts us and helps us, what is it doing at the end of the day? Once again, it is making us more effective witnesses. It's freeing us up of the responsibilities and the burdens that we're worrying about and, and the things that we need comfort for so that we can be more available and more effective witnesses for Jesus. Because that is what He wants from us at the end of the day, family. He wants us to be his witnesses. He wants us to be his hands, his feet, and his mouth here on earth. He wants us to go out there and to be his salt and to be his light and to spread his love. Because when he ascended to heaven, family, he took his body with him. He doesn't have a physical body here on earth anymore. We are his physical body, the body of Christ. And we need the Holy Spirit in us to do the work that he set before us. Just as the Lord Jesus himself needed the Holy Spirit within him before he could do the works of the ministry. If you go and read the Bible, before Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist, he never performed a single miracle if you go and read about it in the Bible. But only when he was baptized by John the Baptist and the Holy Spirit descended on him, only after that was Jesus able to go and start his ministry and go perform the miraculous. And it's exactly the same for us, family. If we want to fulfill the call of God in our lives, we need to have the Holy Spirit within us. And we need to ask the Holy Spirit within us to do a work within us and through us to make us more effective witnesses for Jesus. Because the more effective witnesses we are for Jesus, the more people we can reach. And that's what the Lord wants from us at the end of the day. He wants us to fulfill that great commission in our own unique way, according to our own unique calling. So I want to encourage you to do just that. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some valuable food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to invite you to please join us on Friday. Uh, on Friday, we'll be having a special episode where we will be having our message as normal, which will then be followed by a live prayer session. So if you've got anything specific that you want to pray for, please prepare those things. You'll be able to drop them in the comments and I'll pray for those prayer requests after the message on Friday live on Facebook. So please join us for that. Thank you, family. Let's just close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your Holy Spirit that lives in us, Lord. And we pray, Holy Spirit, that you will do a work within us and through us to grow, shape, mold, develop, and transform us, to be the people that God has created us to be, to do the things that God has created us to do. Holy Spirit, do a work within us to make us more effective witnesses for Jesus so that we can go out there to be his soul, to be his light, to be his hands, his feet, and his mouth, and to spread his love wherever we go so that people will turn to you as a result of the work that you're busy doing in us through us and for us and we give you alone all the praise the glory and the adoration in jesus mighty name we pray amen thanks for watching my video i trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you and if it did i'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message and before you leave please give this video a thumbs up drop a comment let me know what you think about the contents of the video and i'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of from heaven at seven which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.